Hello, my people, and welcome to another day of stories. I am so excited you're here. We're all excited that you're here. As a point of clarification, I am actually the only one here. When I said all, and I referenced this direction, that was to show all the rest of the people who follow in the channel and comment and like and all those kind of things. It was showing that there's others, that there's, there's more on the journey with us now. Now, that being said, we would love if you would come along with us. Click the subscribe button, then click the like button. Thumbs up is thumbs up on this channel, we love thumbs up because it's it's better. It's better than thumbs down. No one wants thumbs down. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Also, you can ring that bell Quasimodo style and then you'll always know when we have a new story. I think we covered all the bases and today we're talking about the dream world. So without further ado, let's roll. I have had a couple of interesting dreams in the last couple weeks here. I'm curious about how dream logic works. You have had a dream, you understand, you can be walking down a street that's very familiar and then all of a sudden you are speaking to a giraffe. But it makes sense because it's in dream and the dream logic that clicks, it makes sense, it goes. You could be walking through a world you've never walked through and yet you know it like your street you grew up on. Why does that happen? Why does that work? I'm so curious, but the thing I'm most curious about is how fast information processes in the supercomputer. I think the rendering time is ridiculous. Let me explain why. I had a friend coming over who wanted to borrow a lens. I was laying down taking a nap and he rang the doorbell. Now in the time that he rang the doorbell, I woke up and I went downstairs. I asked him how many times he had to ring the doorbell. He said once, I was down there just a couple minutes later. But in my dream, here's what took place. I was in my home. I was sitting down playing video games with my children as I normally do. I got up and went to to the kitchen to get a drink. The doorbell rang. I went to the front door because I was expecting a package. Now I'm not really expecting a package, but in the dream I was. And the doorbell is what woke me up because I knew I've got to go answer the door. But that happened in milliseconds. That entire dream played in super fast forward through the neural network and then stopped at the point of the doorbell ringing. But here's what I don't understand. Does your brain know that someone's getting ready to come and ring the doorbell? I don't think it does. I think that our brain functions in such a high capacity that when the doorbell rings it just blasts all this dream knowledge into your memory and you have this perfectly crafted dream that you remember because you woke up in the middle of it because something happened. Another time just a couple of weeks ago I was sleeping a very wonderful sleep and then I found myself in the African safari world. All of a sudden a rhinoceros began to chase me. That would scare everyone. Just like in the cartoons where you're running and then the, the horn comes in just like barely touches you and you're like Whoa! And then you keep on running. In my dream, he would run up, poke me, I would and keep running faster and then he would poke me again and I don't know why I sound like a dying giraffe in that, in that, but that's what I said, that's how it felt, that's what it was like. And then I woke up and I felt something poke me right in the butt. But do you know what that was? The other day, I had been wrestling with my daughter and I picked her up and I threw her onto my bed because that is a safe landing zone for the throwing. Well, her earring came out and then it impaled me and then I interpreted that as a rhinoceros also trying to impale me. Most of the time, dream logic just doesn't make sense. And yet, your brain feels completely comfortable with it. Because such weird things happen in the dream realm. Sleeping is literal time travel. You experience and go through things that do not make any sense, do not conform to the laws and the physics of the world, and yet it all Registers. Talking alligator playing cards with a dog and a fish. Walking on water but then falling off of a building. No problem. If you are a master or a doctor of the brain sciences and knowing exactly what takes place, I want to know. Leave me a comment or shoot me an email. Just, I don't, talk to me. I need to know what, is it just that our brains are so rapidly and amazingly functioning that they just fill in all the images and I wake up feeling like I had a complete story? Or is there going to be some weird precognition of knowing that somebody's going to ring the doorbell and at that moment in time your dream will interpret a doorbell and that the entire scene was set dream logic also have you guys ever had it where you're in the dream and you think to yourself in the dream i know this is a dream and i have to remember it because it's so amazing and then you wake up why, why, why? I've had multiple dreams where I'm thinking of a story and I think to myself I have to remember this because it will make them laugh and roll with joy and happiness. Nothing. 
Dream logic is intense, but you know, can't access it unless you're dreaming. So there's a barrier there we gotta try and hurdle. Also, there's something I need to talk to you guys about. We are almost at a year here. I think we're either right there or one or two videos away. And my goal was to do this every week for a year. I missed one week. I missed one week. Man, I was so close. Telling you guys stories has been a lot of fun. I had a guy come up to me and he retold me my story, but he was emphasizing the things that I said when I said them. And finally, I had to stop him and say, you know that I'm the original teller of the tale, correct? That being said, I have begun work on a new venture and I want you guys to come along with me. Honestly, I'm super excited for it. I have written with a friend of mine, a pilot, for a TV show and we are trying to get it created. It's gonna be an animated show. I will give you guys some information as things progress with that, but I may not be making a story every single Friday. And that is because this is a lot of work and we are really going full court press to try and get that launched and pushed out. Because I don't live in Hollywood and I don't know any studio execs and I don't have an agent, we're doing this on our own. So we are saving money and raising money to try and get this thing put together and we will be forming a page to uh, to, to contribute to that. If you guys would like to do that we will be putting up some different things with the artwork but we're really excited about it and I want you guys to know it's coming we are going full court press I really really want to do that and bring that to you guys I think it's a really great story and I think that it would be something that you guys would really enjoy and I really hope you guys come with us on it to help support it and make it come to fruition so love you guys you guys have been fantastic and amazing as always I will see you soon with another story I do have two more stories that are already ready to go and Man, one of them is a dink story, and let me just tell you. But until that time, keep telling stories.